Well, right now, firefighters are working to prevent a massive fire in Monmouth from spreading. They did have it mostly contained, but it is not over yet. WMTW News 8's Courtney Sturgeon is live at the scene. Courtney. Steve, firefighters are still working here tonight to contain that fire. The fire chief tells us when they first arrived here, there was little they could do to save this building. As you can see, it's a total loss. This is really the first look we're getting at the damage because the smoke has been so thick and the flames coming from that building earlier uh, were so high that we really couldn't see the damage you're seeing now. Firefighters are now focusing on keeping this fire from spreading to a nearby field, which it did earlier. And as you can see there, uh, firefighters have since extinguished the, the flames in the field, but they're working to make sure that it doesn't spread to the nearby woods, other residents, um, homes around here, and that tree line just down that way. Uh, firefighters from six departments in the area have responded to this fire at 80 Electric. It's a three story building, and as you can see again, a total loss after it caught on fire around 3 p.m. Now, since we've been here, we've heard a couple of loud explosions. The fire chief tells us that's probably from combustibles or propane tanks um, in the, that building as the fire was going on, but he says there's no danger to people in the area. There were, however, some concerns about. About firefighters' safety when they first arrived. Uh, there were pretty unsafe conditions when they first got here. In a matter of minutes. I mean, the third time it took me to walk to the fire end of the building, the fire had run the, run the whole length of the roof. So at that point in time, I mean, it's like, you know, we know what's in the building, we, we know what type of hazard it is. You're going to be shy of water, short of water to get enough tankers here. There's just no sense putting crews in there. The fire chief tells us that uh, the thing that is complicating the situation here is the fact that there are such high winds and dry conditions here. So crews are going to be here pretty much all night making sure that any remaining flames uh, don't spread to other areas here. The fire marshal's office is investigating and they're on scene right now taking a look at the situation here. Live in Mammoth, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.